Hi there! My name is Marcy and in this video I am going to show you how I made this super easy booklet, journal, notebook, call it whatever you want, using just my free printables available to everyone who wants to use them. I will link below the video where I showed you how to make them, like the techniques I used, but it's pretty simple, you can make your own and have fun with it. And at the end of the video, I am going to be giving this little book away. So if you want it for yourself or to give to somebody or just to write your notes in, stay till the end of the video and I'll let you know what you need to do. But it's just subscribe, like and comment answering two little small questions. Thank you and let's get started. So this is um, some leftover paper I had and I decided to do a little pattern um, on the cover. It's mixed media paper. I had it left over from a project and also I made a super easy um, snail mail envelope and these are the papers left over. So this one was a little too big but I didn't want to chop it so I folded it like this to make two pockets and then later on add some other little bits of mixed media paper I had laying around. I am becoming more minimal um, every day and right now I'm minimal-ish so I try not to save a lot of stuff and just use the leftovers I have as soon as I have them um, even if that means making a little book and giving it away um, that I think for me is the best feeling making a little present for someone or a little surprise just because it doesn't need to be a special occasion so you saw how I folded this little journal um, this little page, I'm sorry, and this is going to become the middle of my journal plus another little envelope I'm going to show you how to make. So it's just some simple folds and then I cut two little triangles. So this becomes the flap that we're going to glue so that the pocket stays the full pocket because if we were to put glue in there without the little flaps, then it will become a little bit smaller. So now these two extra flaps on the sides, it's where I'm going to glue later some mixed media paper. But for now, that looks good to me. And now I want to arrange the rest of the pages. So I'm just um, grabbing whatever I can see that fits in the little pockets for extra notes or whatnot, you know. And normally I take these journals with me or these little booklets with me to the doctor's office or around the park or you know, just stick them in my purse because they're really little. Actually, I don't have a purse. I have a little 18 months old and he has a diaper bag. So I just put it in there and whenever the older kids needs to be entertained, I just take it out and they doodle on it. They help me write the um, shopping list or whatever. So it's handy to have these around and they don't take much space and they look pretty. I always get comments uh, from other people if they see me take it out. Anyhow, arrange your papers however you like. This is just what looks good to my eye at the moment. And I also use the little bits too. Sometimes they like to glue sticky notes in there. And I'm talking about my kids. <laughs> I have three boys and they're really active. So um, they always need to be a little bit sane. So see, I'm adding this little piece of paper here. So it gives it a little bit more interest. And it's pretty simple. I am going to slow it down in the sewing part because I think that's important for you to see a little bit more slowly. So what I do is just make three holes. Sometimes I um, use a clip to hold my papers in place, but right now I'm so used to this that I just do it like this. Sometimes they move and that's okay. You just need to find a little hole again. So make three holes. Um, I eyeball it, but I try to make one in the middle and then two about maybe an inch and a half apart from the middle, just like this. And then I start in the middle and then bring it back through one of the holes up, like on the sides. It doesn't really matter which one. In this case, the nut is going to be hidden and you're going to see how I do that later because since I'm giving this away, um, I don't know what the person wants to use it for. So then just bring it back this way then pull tight but not too tight just enough so that the papers are snuggled in there and then put it through the other hole and this way see it moved a little for me so I'm going page by page just 
find him a little hole and that's it. No problem whatsoever. Then you bring it back in through the middle. But in this case, you see you have a thread in the middle. I try to leave one on each side because now we're gonna make a little knot. And I want the pages to be in there pretty secure. So if you put one um, piece of thread to one side and one to the other, that thread's gonna be snugged in, you know, tight in the middle. So now you're gonna just tight double knots here. Um, and this is just pretty simple, pretty standard um, thread for um, embroidery floss, I think it's called. And just make two, three knots, um, whatever you feel comfortable with, and then snip it. And this is gonna be hidden because this is gonna become an envelope. So no one is gonna be able to see the sewing part right there. So now for the, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit off angle here, but um, it was kind of hard to film. <laughs> Oh, trying to um, see where I was marking but anyhow this is the extra meets media paper I was talking about and I just measured it like with a piece of paper didn't even use a ruler or anything and fold it um, I like to tear my paper I think that gives it a little bit of um, character and just a mix of cutting and you know ripping it makes it really cool at least to me <laughs> so now we're just I'm going to split it in half because I want one for each side. And it is important that you glue them not so close to the fold because then it will be kind of hard to um, fold it. And you're going to see me here, I'm going to apply my glue, but it's not all the way in there, like close to the fold because then it's going to become a little pain. To glue it so now i apply liquid glue to my big pocket and then i apply this on top of my um, dry glue and that's it you have your little flap with the mixed media paper and now i'm going to seal the envelope and this one we don't have any flaps because the piece was too small and if i were to make flaps or you know it will just become smaller so i just glued it like that i think there's enough space for whatever goodies you guys want to stick in there but this is pretty much it. This is super simple. Um, no need for extra anything. And I'm going to add little embellishments um, or little like cutouts. So whoever receives this little journal has something to decorate it with. That is summery and, you know, a fun, colorful vibe. And this is how it turned out. Um, just if you want to participate in the giveaway, um, I just want you to answer two questions in the comments um, how you got to my channel and what you like to see more of and that's it and then you just have to like obviously be a subscriber because I do want to um, you know get my crafty arts to as much people as um, I can and it's possible you can share this video to um, any one that you think would like to have this little book and um, I really appreciate you getting the word out that um, I'm having this little small giveaway. Nothing big, nothing fancy, just a little thank you and, you know, something fun for summer. Um, here, I'm just adding this little extra mini, I don't know what you call this little envelope thing, which you just to put some of the goodies inside too. And that's going to be in the giveaway. Also, I want to share, somebody asked me how I do my clear envelopes. And I just take one of those page protectors, the clear kind, and chop it to size. Then, I mean, I cut it to size, and then I just get the white um, part of it out. You're gonna see me do it. I'm just, you know, making the journal pretty um, for whoever's gonna get it. <laughs> this is really exciting for me. It's my first giveaway. So it's just, you know, something simple. Um, and something that I like and handmade. I think making it handmade makes it a little bit more special. So see, this is just a page protector. And now I'm just gonna cut it and get rid of the white part. Not all of it because then it will be open on that side. But then I just get double-sided tape and glue it shut. I'm not gonna close it all the way because I do wanna um, decorate it and include some other goodies. If you want to see how I decor, um, all my envelopes or whatever just let me know and I'll make sure to make a video of it thank you so got um, so much guys for um, supporting my channel um, it, it's more than a thousand of you already and that to me is insane 
So thank you very much for every comment, every like, and you know, for being there and watching. Have an amazing day and hopefully you'll get this little book in the mail soon. Have fun making, have fun um, creating, and never stop being crafty. Bye!